Brian. God damn it. You're drinking in the car. 18 million Americans are alcoholics. You should get better by stopping drinking. Ryan is one of them. This is the reality of being an addict. What does it mean to be an alcoholic? The impact on a body, a life, a family. Get out of here. You for what you've done, you've done enough, you're no longer needed. Where is the line between having a good time and doing serious damage? It's as if I have some horrible, horrible disease that is deadly. In three days, Ryan will undergo a series of tests to see exactly what alcohol has done to his organs. Parts of your body are screaming and dying. Can doctors save him from his addiction? Are you willing to get all these tools you need to save your life? Ryan's life is on the line. Goes here and goes way back here. Yes. I don't want somebody to walk into a house one day and find you dead. I need a drink. Four dollars right now will save my life and stop me from having a seizure. I am dead scared, dead sober, um, and, and not drinking for a lot more than I usually don't. And it's right there at the store. I, I'm, I apologize, you guys. I can't even focus or, or think or even understand anything. For the past three years, Ryan has been drinking three pints of vodka a day. It's as if I have some horrible, horrible disease that is deadly, and I am very, very badly infected with it. The serum, the cure, is simply at the store. It's four bucks, it's right there. I just need to get to the store right now. I don't think anybody understands how bad I need this cure. Now he's in desperate need of a fix. He hasn't had any alcohol for eight hours. My allowance is 10 bucks a day from my grandfather. There I go, I got a golden ticket. On an average date, I'll get three pints of vodka. Can you give me one of those pints? Is that it? Yes, please, bitch. Thank you, buddy. I'm about to stop feeling like the world is ending and everything is horrible like it feels right now by simply consuming a little bit of this, which I do when I sit in this car. <laughs> Brian, God damn it. You make me so mad. You're drinking in the car. Ryan. Yeah. Shit that damn thing up and put it away. Right. Yes, sir. It's the most abused drug in the United States. But scientists are just beginning to understand how alcohol addiction really works. For addicts like Ryan, the body can become so physically dependent on the substance that they can literally die without it. I don't think anybody understands how badly I need this, how much better I will feel, and how much one minute means a lot to me at the moment. All right. When I drink my vodka, I take three shots in less than 10 seconds. Bam, bam, bam. All right. All right. Oh, hi. Where am I? What's up, you guys? Okay. All right. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling the burn. Uh, someone told me one day it's like a, a warm hug from a bear on a, on a cold night. <laughs> that burn in your chest. Uh, it's the answer. It's uh, evil, and it's reminding me that. Yeah, I'm this bottle's bitch, basically. I, I'll do anything for it. <laughs> Alcohol's initial impact is rapid. Within 90 seconds of entering the bloodstream, a swig reaches the brain. There, it increases the firing rate of endorphins and pleasure chemicals like dopamine, the effect that provides the high. But when there's an excessive intake, like Ryan's, it triggers the poison control cells in his brain, telling his body to stop any more alcohol from entering his bloodstream. The body goes into defense mode. His diaphragm.